Okay guys, this is part three of my competition spring upgrade. Uh, anyway, I changed the angle. Hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit better because of what I'm doing here. And I want to make sure that you're able to see. You can put the upper to the side. We don't need it anymore. For right now anyway. And we'll take it apart. Now depending on what you have, I normally have a beaver tail on. I took it off. That's why it's protruding so much on the back. Turn some light on here. So, I'll be putting the beaver tail back on as I'm going through, but you may or may not have one of those. And depending on the generation Glock you have, you may have two pins here. Take them both out. And uh, so for me, I'll be taking out two pins. You'll be taking out three, possibly. So, anyway, what I'm going to be going after, if I can get in here, there is a spring in there. And there, and that's what I'm going after to replace. Pretty simple to do. Just need to remember some of the things as you go along. Go ahead and punch the spring out. I mean the pin out, I'm sorry. If you don't have a set of punches, they come in handy for a lot of things. So you might just want to go ahead and get you a set. They're not very expensive. You can get them at Harbor Freight. Mine are uh, just something that I get at Lowe's. Oh, they went ahead and fell out. That's the mechanism on the side there. You just pop it right on out. That's one of the pieces. Another piece that you'll take out is this here. I'm just try to remember the orientation, but it won't go in wrong. So Just don't force it if it doesn't go. piece it'll come out pretty simple all is one piece there slide it all out and what you can do is just pull back and you, you grab it here just pull back a little and then angle it to get it out of that little slot that it was in remember the orientation I'll try and show that as good as I can of the springs there see how it loops it loops in from the top and loops down from here, it hooks from the inside and goes out. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull that spring off. That spring off. And put in the new heavier one. And remember, that's because this was uh, working at an inverse section of the others. So, a heavier spring makes for a lighter pull in this particular spring. And all three of these springs combined should give you a pretty good noticeable difference. And then you just put it back in the slot. There we go. back down in there. Push this back down in there. And just pay attention to how it goes. But anyway, I'll show you if I can since this one popped out without me being able to show you. You'll see several slots in there. The one farthest over to the left, it kind of goes all the way down. That's the one that spring goes into with the open in facing up. Put it down in there, slide it into place, and you'll notice it it tries to spring back now. So and if you look you should look down in there and be able to see through this, but you can maneuver as you try to put it in obviously. So I'm gonna just put that back in. Like I said I'm having to maneuver it a little forward. And it's just tight, so I'm going to tap it on in. And I use this type hammer because it won't damage anything if I hit the side of the gun. I want it in a little bit farther than that just so it's even. 
There we go. That should be good. Now for me, I'm adding the beaver tail. You won't have this step, but it's really not any extra step. You just hold it in place while you put the pin down in there. So just put the pin in without dropping it. <laughs> And so I'm having to do a little bit, you would just hammer it on in. And what I'm trying to do is get the beaver tail on there. So I do it a little bit longer on one side, hook it on. There we go. And even it up a little bit. Okay. Now you just slide the already assembled upper on. Good action there. Everything's working. I wanted to make sure that would lock it back. No problems. And I can definitely tell the difference in the trigger pull. Anyway, that's my competition spring upgrade for Glock. This particular one is a Glock 19. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll be back with another video real soon.